Mealybugs are a very common pest on houseplants, and you'll even find them in the garden. In this video, I'll show you how to identify the mealybug, and then I'll show you how to make up a mixture that you can spray on your plants to get rid of it. It's a very simple mixture, and very safe to use inside the home. So let's have a look at some mealybugs. A mealybug actually is a small insect, but most people just see the white fuzzy stuff around it. So it almost doesn't look like an insect. And it doesn't move very fast. Most of the time it just sits there waiting for you to squash it. So this picture here shows a typical mealybug infection on a leaf. You'll see some little white spots, which are the bugs. And then you'll see a lot of white cottony stuff around them. That's a pretty sure sign that you have mealybugs, particularly the white cottony material. Here's a picture of a plant that's heavily infested. This thing now has hundreds of mealybugs living on it. And this plant really should have been treated a long time ago. Uh, the mealybugs now are harming the plant because they suck juices out of the plant. And as they're sucking these juices out, the plant just can't grow properly. Even though this plant has a lot of mealybugs on it and is heavily infected, it can still be saved. Now let's have a closer look at what these mealybugs really look like. In this picture, you'll see a large group of them. But now that we're zoomed in, you can start seeing the individual bugs themselves. And they're white, and they cover themselves with this fuzzy stuff, so they're a little hard to see still. But if we zoom in even closer, you can now see an individual bug. This picture shows a mealybug that has less fuzz around it, so you can actually see the structure of the actual bug. They're pretty easy to squish with your fingers. The problem is you won't be able to see the eggs, and the baby mealybugs don't look white like this. They're more of a green color, and they're very tiny, and they tend to hide in all of the cracks of the plants. So even if you remove the adults, you're still going to have all of the babies. So in a week or two, you'll be back to having more mealybugs. So the best thing to do is actually spray them. So this is how I make up my baby oil bug spray. I fill a spray bottle to about here, so it's almost full, with plain tap water. I then want two tablespoons of baby oil. Now an easy way to pour this into the bottle is to pour it onto the stem and then it'll just run down the stem without spilling onto the bottle. There we go. Now I'd already put one tablespoon in, so that was the second tablespoon. And now I want just a drop or two of dish soap. That's lots. Now dish soap doesn't matter which brand you use, they're, they're all good for this spray. Too much of this will harm your plants. Okay, dish soap is really not great for spraying plants, although lots of people use it. A uh, much better product would be uh, insecticidal spray. But since uh, most people don't have that at home, you can use this dish soap. Close it up. And the oil and water don't really mix too well, so you'll see the oil sitting on top here. So it's important to give this a really good shake. And the soap helps the two mix together. As you're spraying, every once in a while, give it another shake just to make sure it stays in solution. There you go. That's all there is to making this mixture. It's very safe. Uh, this obviously won't even hurt a baby. This you use on your dishes every day. So, none of these products will hurt you. Now I'd like to show you how I spray my plants. So I've got my mixture made up in my spray bottle. And I've got one of my orchids here. And I'm going to spray all surfaces of the leaves here. What's particularly important is that you get right into the cracks here. Both mealybugs and scale like to hide in there. And so you've got to get right in there. You also have to get the underside of the leaves. Now, the best place to spray this is something like the, the bathtub or a uh, you know, plant room is great, because uh, it is a bit of a messy process. So give this a good shake. Give it a good spray. 
Make sure you get the underneath parts. A lot of pests like to hide there. Okay, this is dripping quite well. The excess can run into the pot. There won't be any harm to the roots. Get right into the bottom there where the roots join the plant. And that's it. Now once this dries, what you should see is that all your leaves are shiny. If they're still a dull color, it means you didn't have enough oil in your spray bottle. Just put some more oil in and do it again. On the other hand, if you put too much oil in here, your leaves will get very sticky. You want this to be shiny, but not sticky. Now just leave that alone for a couple days and your scale and mealybugs should all be dead. I generally spray my plants about every three months in the house and just to control any, any uh, insects that come along and that's all there is to it. If you're doing mealybugs, they just die, you can ignore them. The scale will also die, but it won't come off the plant very easily. So even at the end of a week, you'll still see the scale, it'll just be dead. And you can come and kind of flick it off, it becomes fairly loose. Or just wait over time, all that scale will fall off. If you have any questions about spraying your plants with the baby oil, leave a comment below and I'll be glad to answer it. You can also join our Facebook group called Garden Fundamentals, and people from all over the world will help answer your questions. Thanks very much for watching this video.